Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the adventures of Wilbur. Uh, we're here today. We, we did the rounds. We've been doing the rounds for a while. We are now finally have found Adira and are going to talk to her because Jesus, I've been looking for her forever. <laughs> it feels like. Uh, so let's jump right in, shall we? The tall middle-aged woman stares straight ahead, her eyes vacant as she rubs the implant on, at her temple. Her collar is undone and one of the clasps is on the verge of falling off. Sensing your presence, Adira turns her head towards you and offers a crooked smile, even as her eyes look right through you. Uh... Let's see, you seem to have a very strong reaction to Argenta said about the broken lenses. Uh, didn't you want something from me? Okay, about your abilities. <laughs> what are you talking about, Lord Captain? You're a Psyker. Psykers only, are only granted the right to live with the Emperor's blessing. Have you ever been to Terra? I'm concerned about your level of control over your abilities. I worry for the crew. Psychers are not safe to... Okay, yeah. We're going to go with the first one. Look, Lady Theodora couldn't care less if some eggheads measured my brains or not. It's not about the seal on your forehead, get it? It's about what's in your gut, if it's rotten or not. My gut's stronger than the adamantine on this here ship. And my implants are better than the ones they put in you on your terror. If they weren't, I wouldn't have lived as long as I have. Okay, fair enough. Implants, obviously, a mechanical or electronic cybernetic a substitute for biological limbs or organs. And then Terra is the home world. Yeah. You seem to have a very strong reaction of what Argenta said about the broken limbs. It was just my nerves playing up. Something about our little saint doesn't sit right with me, and I trust my gut. Oh, sure, she seems straight as an arrow and as predictable as a hangover after drinking. But when I look at her, something about her makes my brain itch. People really don't like Argenta. That's so weird. After that conversation, I tried to listen to what was being said about her. Beyond the door, what I heard was strange blood in her past, twilight in her present, and something like a star leading her? But where is it leading her? I saw several roads, and all of them frightened me. Well, if you ask her, it's probably the Emperor that's leading her, so... Uh, what does it all mean? Maybe we should warn Argenta? Do you think I should keep an eye on her? What does it all mean? If I knew, I would have told you. Hearing things clearly requires cooperation from the other person you know. But that cobra just hisses and spits its venom at me. I don't trust her one bit. Do you think we should keep an eye on her? Mm, it certainly wouldn't hurt. I'll keep a watch on her too. Ugh, if only I knew what it meant. Maybe it means danger for her. Or maybe danger coming from her. Interesting. Where do you come from? Lyra, an outlying world in the heathen star's region. In the Coronis Expanse, the deeper you go, the less visible the Astronomicon gets, and the less people know about the Imperium. The arrival of a rogue trader is the best thing that can happen to a world like that. The very best. What is the Astronomicon? A psychic beacon that helps the navigators through to tri triangulate a course for their void ships through the warp. Okay. Didn't know that. Tell me about Ly Lyra. It's an out of the way planetoid between two faint stars. On Lyra, a dozen Lyra. local tyrants fight over five measly continents, but they use everything they can to win, from poison to psychers. I haven't been there in many years, but there's nothing for me to miss. Trust me. But here on the ship is a different story altogether. I saw more wonders in my first year serving Lady von Valancius than I'd seen in my whole life on Lyra. Like my first journey through the warp, I was in bed for three days. 
I felt like supernovas were exploding in my head. <laughs> I only found out later that I'd gotten off easy. <laughs> Just through the bulkhead in the bay next to mine, a whole team turned into... <laughs> Look at me rambling on, Lord Captain. Pay no attention. No, do finish. Uh, you never finish your story about the first time you crossed the worm. It wasn't... It wasn't like it was a very fun trip, Lord Captain. Oh. But look, if you want to Bad be entertained, supernova is going off in your I'm head. a woman for the job. I'll entertain you with one of the stories from my collection, no problem. But if you want to hear about the time I melted everyone in the bay next door, well, I just don't really want to go into the details on that one, all right? Okay, fair enough. That's quite dangerous. <laughs> what did you do before you came onto the ship? Oh, I embroidered wall hangings in honor of our national heroes. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing I do here, Lord Captain. Divining. Our rulers prized the ability to see into the future. Every psyker that could be found was worth a small fortune on Lyra. There's no such thing as a peaceful life on Lyra. People like me were especially sought after. They'd pick psychers up wherever they found them, buy kids off their parents, even just abduct them. Take me, for instance. I got taken from my street gang. The older street kids fooled gang. me when they noticed there was something off about me. The ruling dynasties had schools where they trained us and beat us black and blue. And then they packed us off to serve. Some of us held on for a long time, but others didn't last. Not everyone's as smart and talented as me, you know. Some people crossed the line and were out of commission before their time. Adira looks at you unexpected, or expectantly. <laughs> then, as though clarifying, she uses her hand to indicate a head exploding and laughs. How'd you end up in the Rogue Trader Service? Theodora von Valancius paid a visit to the Valencius. ruler I was serving at the time. Keep saying Valancius. I don't know what the visit was for, and it's no business of mine anyway. I can still remember the way the voices in my head changed when I looked at her. They were practically screaming. She had so much behind her, and plenty ahead of her, too. As I got at her, all of a sudden, I heard a whisper, a hint, a suggestion, nothing more. But I know the difference between idle chatter and a real threat. I seized my chance and approached Theodora. I managed to whisper a couple of words in her ear before the wardens dragged me away. They beat me and locked me up. No wonder. It wasn't my place to converse with outsiders. And then Theodora's people came for me. They broke down the wall, butchered the guards. Also, I could tell them my warning in full. So I said the rest, but I didn't want to go back to my old life. And so I entered the service of the Fan Valancius dynasty. Interesting. Have you ever been off the ship? That's kind of a dumb question, because we were literally just with her when we went off the ship twice. Mm, a few times. Yeah, see. Not many. And if I think about it, why would I want to? I've got everything got point. I need here. All the whispers I hear are familiar ones. They almost feel like family. And if I want to hear about the nightmares off the ship, I can. After some Amisek. <laughs> but don't go getting the wrong idea. If I have to, I'll follow you to the edge of the galaxy. Amisek. A potent alcoholic drink of varying quality, widely available across the Imperium. Interesting. Let's talk about something of course, else. Lord Captain. You got a new story for me? You bet I do, Lord Captain. Adira becomes much more animated in her expressions, turns slightly dreamy as she recalls one of her stories. <laughs> Holy okay. shit. So, we went to footfall once. What is this? Well, I mean, Lord Captain Theodora went to footfall a lot. But on that occasion, she took me with her for some reason. My day had gotten off to a bad start. My head had been yammering since I woke up, but there was nothing else for it. I had to go. We arrive at the place, and what a place! She really seems like she <laughs> could benefit from like some ibuprofen. All the gentlemen and ladies dressed to kill. 
<laughs> showing off their encrusted implants, all clustered around little tables. Well, turned out it was a gaming den. And not just any gaming den, but one run by somebody with deep pockets for people with just as much cash to splash. <laughs> you should have seen it. People gambling away planets in a game of regicide. Anyway, so the Lord Captain wanted me to help her beat some guy. So I tell her, the chips won't land in your favor. You'll get a bad hand. Don't sit down at that table, your ladyship. But did she listen? Of course she didn't. If there's one thing she never lacked, it's stubbornness. <laughs> so what the hell is Regicide? A human tabletop game played across the Imperium of Man, similar to the ancient Terran game of chess. Now, okay, I was about to say, she doesn't say that Theodora played Regicide, but I was like, chess doesn't involve chips or hands or anything. And then what is this? Is this just a... Uh, that doesn't do anything. Cool. So they sat down and the cards were dealt. Ah. I'm hovering around like I'm not involved, but I'm keeping my eye on things. And everything in my head keeps getting louder and louder. Anyway, it's a good thing I realized in time that my mind wasn't going haywire over a losing hand, but something else. I made some excuse to drag the Lord Captain up from the table and took her away from that place. And a few minutes later, the room where we'd been? <laughs> it turned out some wise guy had the same bright idea to bring a pet psyker along with him. One of those ones who just scuttle around in footfalls underbelly. And the psyker just freaked out, I guess. <laughs> After all the commotion, people went to see what happened in the room. And they'd all gone for each other's throats, literally, with teeth. <laughs> and I think they completely detached that asteroid from footfall and pushed it off into open space so it would head off toward the local star. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Psychers really do seem dangerous. <laughs> What's it like being a psyker? Um, Lord Captain, forgive me, but it would be like talking to a person born blind about colors. I could spend hours explaining, but it wouldn't make any sense to you. Fair enough. Every cycle feels their connection with the warp in their own way. One person might see spots and shadows out of the corner of their eye. Another feels fingers running down their spine. As for me, I've got a door in my head. One that's open just a crack. There's no way to close it, no matter how hard I try. I've just had to get used to the whispers from the other side. When I need to use it for work, I listen in more closely, but I usually just try not to notice it. Hmm. How do you live with all the whispering in your head? Do you... What would happen if you... The door burst open? Uh... Yeah, what would happen if the door bursts open? <laughs> well, if the door opens, that means somebody's planning to come in, right? But screw them. They're not coming through. Trust me. I know how to keep my valuable head locked up tight. Good. I kind of need that. Uh, what's it like to live with whispering in your head? Training, habit, and a little amasek and a couple other things you can get on the lower decks. If you put all those together, it makes things bearable. <laughs> Sometimes I even wonder if I'm imagining half the voices I hear. You know, when life on board gets a little boring. Better than listening to the living, anyhow. Mm. Are you afraid of losing control? <laughs> Only losers who are afraid of their own gift lose control. <laughs> or idiots Fair who enough. never figure out what they are before it's too late. Or little kids who want to play around with their shiny new toy. If you don't know the limits of your abilities, or you're always bouncing around in your own head, that's a recipe for disaster. Yep, sure sucks. Can we, you see my future? All right. That's what I'm here for, after all. So, I'm just going to lean on that door in my head a little more, prick up my ears, and listen to what the warp's got to say about you. If you'll allow it, I can listen right now. Sure! All right. Let's hear what they're whispering about you. 
<laughs> Adira laughs and rubs her hands together and suddenly freezes with a vacant smile on her face, her head slightly tilted. You feel goosebumps appear on your skin and your collar begins to waver ever so slightly, as if moved by a breeze from a half-open door. Among the blind men and false prophets, a red-robed sage seeks the answer to a question. He does not know that it is not the answer he must seek, but the question that will draw everything into focus. Will you help him, rogue trader? But mark that sometimes ignorance is sweeter than oblivion. A chained hound chases after glimmers of the aurora, but sparks in the scent of oil confound his nose. The chain trails after him. What will happen if you pick it up? Will you become his master, or merely another beast in the pack of his true lord? The glow of dawn bursts forth from its prison. Dungeon walls cannot contain the dark essence wallowing in the dust. A naive cub pushes his nose into a familiar hand, one that holds death in twisted glass. Cherish it or cast it off as a burden. The sword of change has already been raised. What is one more life to it? <sighs> I'm sorry, Lord Captain. The voices are going wild. I can't make out a thing. I'll try to rein them in somehow, but for now... Weird. I wonder what any of that fucking means. <laughs> no clue. I'd like to hear your augury, Adira. What awaits me in the future? And right. I just asked Let's that? Hear with <sighs> okay, I'm cool. Sorry, Lord Captain. The voices uh, are going wild. Did you know Thea Theodora von Valencia as well? None of the officers knew the Lord Captain well. Not even Abelard, and she was always closer to him than anyone else. She told me from the off that if I ever listened to anything in the warp about her without her permission, I'd be going out through the airlock. I'm not an idiot, so I never stuck my nose where it didn't belong. Only when I was asked. Fair enough. It's hard to wrap my head around the fact that she's gone. Lady von Valancius gave me everything I have. She opened the stars to me and the paths between them. I... I still think I can hear her voice. Things are strained between you and Argenta, isn't that right? The little sister is afflicted with her own set of voices. Ones that whisper to her about corruption and heresy. The silly girl doesn't realize that if she wants to find the source, she needs to start by looking in her own head. Jesus, I'll take my leave. Of course. Always at your service. Whenever you need me. Okay, and then... Yeah. Okay. Uh, I thought there would be, like, a thing she had to say, because she said she wanted to. But, uh... Yeah. We're moving on. <laughs> Very interesting conversation, and not... Uh, too many things I understood, honestly, if I'm being uh, for real. But yeah, here we go back to the actual planet, begin the scan. We've got a ton of quests here. Okay, we've got two quests here, <laughs> apparently. Uh, yeah, let's bring everybody. Everybody's level seven. And we're about to level up to level eight, if I remember correctly. Oh shit, they're in the middle of a fight. Yeah, damn. Okay, Jesus Christ, right into it, huh? Damn, I thought this was like a... gonna be a peaceful settlement. I don't know why I thought that. Starport greets you with the din of ordnance and smell of explosives tickles your nostril. Uh, it is difficult to tell through the smoke who is firing at whom. Halt, weapons on the ground or I'm firing the man in a torn and dirty uniform hobbles towards you from behind the chunks of rockrete, interesting, and crumbled plasteel. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> His cracked helmet is adorned with a crooked label that reads Sergeant Malager. Malger? Malger. Sergeant Malger. All right, so our skies have been in lockdown. The rebels are shooting down anything that flies, and you just so happen to land in our rear without a scratch to show for it? And on a shuttle like that? Where did you get in? Uh, stolen from the palace, isn't it? Be visibly awed by the resplendent gold of your transport. Grab them, lads. We've got ourselves rebel landing force. By the holy throne, what is this mess? They're in a rough spot, old man. Go easy on them. You must be mistaken. I am rogue traitor of House Von Valencius. Uh, yeah, that's good. Give me a status report this instant. Yeah, no. The soldier grows more and more pale with every word you say. As soon as you are done speaking, he falls to his knees. My mistake, your lordship. Didn't recognize you, sir. Please pardon my blunder. It's a bloodbath in here. Jesus. Okay. A grenade explodes. <laughs> yeah, we got that. A frag grenade explodes, cuts off the rest of the sergeant's words. Shrapnel flies everywhere with a pierce, piercing screech. One of the soldiers falls to the ground, clutching the remains of his forearm that is now adorned with crimson tatters. Blood is pouring out the stump, and the soldier's agony is short-lived. The sergeant curls or curses and hastily says an army prayer for the dead. With a rasping cough, the sergeant turns back to you. Pardon me, sir. Uh, sergeant Les Lassie Malgar reporting. My unit is holding the starport on the governor's orders. How may I serve? Some dirty dogs nearly shot down my shuttle. What's going on here? Do you happen to know if a member of the Inquisition has... What is going on here? Unrest, sir. Armed rebellions in both the capital and the provinces. Uh, first, the lower levels sparked. Then it went up to the spire. They hit the Vox hubs, the arsenals, and the mag train stations. What are the Vox hubs? Piece of technology. Okay, that's not helpful. I figured what it was, though. Then Felic tore off his mask, precisely because he knew about the trouble on Rikard Minoris. Minoris. He knew that none of our allies would come to our aid. Cassia lets out a sorrowful sigh. You may continue your report, peasant. <laughs> My unit was here when it all went to the Groxes. I don't know what that is. The tech priest linked to the satellites reported sightings of a strange void ship in the system. They were orbiting the star until one of them set course for landing on Riker Majoris. The governor took particular uh, precautionary measures and ordered the increased security in, at key facilities. Everyone knows the, that whenever something's not right, you better double the warden detail. The alarm was raised, and we were sent to secure the starport. It's the only reason we were able to hold it. They're crushing us. Why is that blue? Decisive consequences. You were late to arrive on Rikard Menorah. Oh, shit. I didn't even fucking think about that. Oh, son of a bitch. The scumbags. It's been a whole turn since the last reinforcements came in. We're slowing, ro running low on ammo. Every uh, other fighter is wounded. I don't know how bad it is in the streets, but they'll drive us out of here in any minute. Pat him on the shoulder. You're doing fine work. Uh, and so are your troops. It is people like you that hold the Imperium together. I think that's pretty encouraging. Who are you anyway? What caused this rebellion? How could some pathetic rebellion be cause enough to for such a lackluster welcoming ceremony in honor of a road trader arrivals? It is an insult. Uh, I can't... I cannot leave your people and... 
I cannot leave you and your people without aid. Reinforcements will be sent from my ship. Let's pat him on the shoulder. I live to serve the sergeant's grim voice rings with a martyr's pride. Uh, do you happen to know if a member of the Inquisition has come here? At the word Inquisition, the sergeant's face fills with awe. I don't know, sir. They, there definitely haven't been any visitors like that on my watch. You might have to inquire at the headquarters, your lordship, sir. I'm going to see the governor now. If I may report, sir, as long as the rebels keep shooting their damned anti-aircraft battery, there is absolutely no way to shuttle you to the governor. It would have to be on foot, and the streets are dangerous. I have no one to send with you as an escort. I assigned all available troops to accompany the esteemed tech priest to the governor. I will vox cast orders to them, f for, to them to wait for you. And I'll inform headquarters. They better send out a convoy to meet you halfway. Meanwhile... We will follow the governor's orders and hold the line here. Adira frowns as her gaze grows distant, as if she's looking through the sergeant. You're a good soldier, but you've got a lot of blood on your hands, both yours and others. You know, the same hand that <laughs> salutes now might falter in darkness, rank in... Epaulets? I don't even know what that word is. It won't serve you... <laughs> from your won't save you from your bitterness pardon me my lady but can i can't get my head around these fancy words you're saying same bro this is literally me <laughs> the entire time i've seen plenty of blood but trust me i'll fight to have the last drop uh this path have dangerous what awaits for me what tech priest uh you are a good soldier I will see that your heroism is noted. You are a fool. The governor who is safe and sound in the rear has left you for dead. And you are here preaching about glory. A good fighter would have long since reclaimed the starport. Move out and attack, you cowardly knave. <laughs> uh, you're a good... Uh, so I want to ask these questions, but I also want to tell him, Good job, you know, just good, good on you, buddy. You're doing good. Uh, what tech priest? A very important person from the Adeptus Mechanicus arrived on the last shuttle before they locked down the sky. He kept on asking whether um, anyone by the name of Armamart or Amarant or something like that had recently arrived. Barely answered any of our questions, though. He said he was under no obligation to tell us anything. He, de he demanded to talk to the governor personally, so I, hel so I had to send a quarter of my troops to with him to keep trouble at bay. Is the path ahead dangerous? What awaits for me? Oh my god, no, dude. <laughs> I took too long. <laughs> Sovereign size heavily. Uh, all our, of our roadblocks are gone. The whole place is in rebel hands. The city is almost lost, so no help will come. We are surrounded by rebels. And watch your steps, sir. The streets are chock full of mines. Logic test failed. No, dude. That's was, is that the first failure of the game? Like, honestly, is that it? Uh, the sergeant's answer is not particularly helpful when danger is all around you in many forms. It is impossible to prepare for it. You're a good soldier, Malarg. Malgar. Oof. I'll see it to it that your heroism is noted. Sergeant blushes slightly. I live to serve, sir. Oh my god. Thank you. Another explosion interrupts the sergeant's words. With a sigh of relief, he turns to his soldiers and spits out a booming series of commands and dialogue. Oh, what is this? Rumors. On your travels, you will hear many rumors. The, those of them that are deserving of the rogue trader's attention are logged in a separate section of the journal sometimes rumors are just that other times there is truth to them and in some cases there may be even more to verify a rumor travel to the place i indicated in the rumors description okay 
While, traver while traversing the Coronas Expanse as the road trader, you are bound to hear rumors regarding your own deeds and exploits, which of which some of which reflect the reaction of the Expanse's denizens and to choices you have made. Okay, everyone. Cool. So we're in the middle of a fucking battlefield, bro. Uh... Where exactly? Okay, so I'm gonna go. Did you see that? They almost knocked us out of the air. Some bumbling idiot's going to regret that when he's dragged before the Lord Captain for questioning and trial. Yeah, cool. Uh, I do not think the rogue trader should take a personal interest in a common crackpot. Summary execution will be sufficient. So let's actually uh, change our formation here because now we got Cassia. We want to move her in for now. Uh, that seems pretty good. Now we've got our our cross of people. Um, that armor. What is this now? Chainmail. Medium armor. So I'm a light armor kind of guy. He's a heavy armor kind of guy. You're light armor. Oh, you have light armor. Oh, well maybe I should give you this. Or maybe something heavier. Oh, I have a ton of these. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's actually... The improved body glove is actually really good. Oh, this is personally for Argenta. Okay. Is it? No. That's just telling me who's it equipped to. Okay, so... Oh, 15 armor, that sucks. Um... So this is 20 armor. I'm gonna take this from her. And put it on Wilbur. Just because I want him... Oh, he looks cool again. He looks very noble once more. Uh, then I will put on oh, heavy armor. You can wear that, right? Uh, that's what you're wearing right now. Send us all trust us, carapace. And then you can't wear heavy armor. You're not proficient in heavy armor. So maybe I just give you this for now. Uh, what is this? No, that's bad. You are... That's literally just worse, straight up. So that's cool. I should be looking like this. <laughs> Shouldn't be doing this. Uh, this right here. Oh, this is actually. This is better. The dodge penalty is. Uh, was that her dodge? 83 to 63? 85? Oh my god. This is just straight 20 plus armor, right? Armor is one of the parameters that reduces incoming damage. Yeah, okay. Nothing too fancy there. No calculations, really. Or doesn't tell me, at least. Armored body glove, 15. Armored body glove. Medium armor. Medium armor. Yeah, I think... I think that's good. Okay. Okay. So it seems like if we hit the map here, oh, there is actually something back here, it seems. Yeah, there is goods back here. Interesting. Okay, cool. Follow my lead. Trophies were packed in the in the cargo hold. Okay, so we actually have to take on these dudes that are shooting over here. More goods. Fuck it, we hit it. Take a knee and bow before me. Are you ready to Speeding die? Speeding up animations in combat. In combat, you can significantly increase the animation speed of your enemies and allies. To do so, hold the assigned key space by default. Uh, in the settings menu, you can enable this option to speed up animation automatically or disable it. Okay. So there's Rebel Guards. 
Okay, where the fuck am I? I got turned around so hard. Okay, here we are. So, Abelard. Uh, get over here. Wilbur, you will get right here. Or actually, no, you'll take cover here. Uh, Adira and Cassia will take right there. Argenta, you can get in there as well. I'll put you right here for now. Yeah, I think that's good. Start battle. Hold on. We got a fuck ton of people. Oh my god. Out of my way. That's not good. That Let's was a huge fucking buff. Stop mocking me. That's Let's not good play. either. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, Argenta and Cassia's AoE are going to be so good. 13 fucking people? Oh my god. We should have got here way sooner, bro. Three damage, not bad. Oh, did he fucking... Did he just kill his ally? He did. What an idiot. Okay, Adira. Fuck, she doesn't have the lightning anymore. What is this again? Hit and automatic critical hit. I have to put that on someone, right? Yeah. Uh, who has the most health? This bruiser does. This rebel does. Another rebel bruiser. Uh, I'll put it on this guy Not for now. Target is too far. Oh, okay. Uh, what was the range on that? Oh, they're all too far. Okay, cool. Uh, can I just... Yeah, I can just kill one of these dudes outright, it seems. Or I can at least do damage to him. Well, if I'm going to do that, let me... Uh, make him easier to I'm hit. I'm not so sure. No. Oh, I think... Oh, no. He didn't already... He already has that on him. Okay. Right? What is that little thing? Raging Woe. Increases enemies' weapon skill and ballistic skill by one, as well as damage by one for every level of Raging Woe on their allies. Okay, that's scary. <laughs> uh, we're gonna just do some damage to him real quick. Excuse me? The fuck is that? Did that just kill us? <laughs> Did I just do that and it killed us? <laughs> 145 health? That is not my destiny. Target is under the effect or condition. Okay. I'm gonna put this Will on do. me. Thank you. I can't do that. No can do. Okay, that's weird. Manifestation. See this. What the fuck was that? Let's get to it. I will endure. Stay vigilant. Bruh. What the actual fuck just happened? Dude, what the shit? Fourteen to twenty. Or is this a seven to twelve? So that's better. Well, it's kind of the same actually. But it does have a higher Yeah, if I take two shots, but yeah, fuck it. Uh, let's actually, before we do that, you serve me. Uh, let's put that on Cassia. My purposes. She's going to die, though. She's so fucking dead. Six bleeding. Fuck me. Let's Not give her some action points. Midlift stare. Is this the, the huge AOE? It is. And it only hits three people. 
Oh, hits four. If that I works. May, another foe painted black. Damn, that's actually super strong. And her cover got fucked. Oh no. I didn't realize the cover got fucked. Oh, that's not good. It's okay. It's it wasn't her turn. It wasn't her turn. Okay. Jesus Christ. Take aim. Target's next attack will ignore cover and have double of the effective distance. Okay, that's... Uh, I have... I can use the voice of command on someone. I'll do it on Avalard. Because I want him to get in there and fucking hit this dude. And Nothing then I'm just going to start do. pumping damage into him. Not my specialty. Wait, why is it two? I thought I had the double weapon fighting and I could do the... Okay, well, that was confusing. All done. Okay, we got the uh, melee guys coming in now. They had low initiative. You don't frighten me. Let's do this again, shall we? Fuck. Okay, let's actually move first. Guess I'll move like over here. Should I do that? That spreads quite a bit of damage around. I think Be I will do that. Cross my gaze. Well, that. Oh, I thought he killed me. I'm not gonna lie, I super thought he killed me. Okay, so I'm actually gonna give. No, not Avalar. Argenta. Me? If you insist, I'll Lord do that. Captain. And then I could probably kill one of these dudes. I'll take the 50. I'll do it. None can escape the okay, judgment. excellent. Gain four As momentum. I'm gonna fucking I need act. it. I am going to fucking need it. Okay, that's all for her turn. Argenta now. Now this does 10 to 15. What does this do? 6 to 10. I think the shotgun's just always a better option. But god damn, did we clear this place out. We got three people left, it seems. Four. One gunner, all melee dudes, and then this fucking dickhead. All right. All right. All right. Let's Rejoice fucking... In battle. Oh, I knocked him down. Oh, sick. I'll do it. Oh, sick. As the emperor come up with you, my emperor. You fucked. Uh, just a minor setback. All right, Abelard. Let's charge this motherfucker, huh? At your beck and call. Okay. And then I want to bleed him. Which one of these uh, bleeds him? Am I stupid? Is it just any attack with that bleeds him? Or well... Oh, it does say right there, this attack inflicts bleeding, bleeding on the target. I'm an idiot. So this is a two cost, which is unfortunate. I guess I'll bleed him. Indeed. Target well struck. Ooh, critical hit. Are these all crits now that he's down? And then That's I will and call. do that. I didn't have enough to. Oh, my way. Oh, okay. There's still more people. Excellent. My heart still beats. Okay, Break nobody got super hurt from that. Dodged, you idiot. Okay, Wilbur, you can do this. So I can give someone else. He's got one HP. 
I'll give it to her. And then I will go here and just shoot his ass. And then I can revel in slaughter. Commands, I act. Just good. And then I can snipe one of these dudes. 95, 95, 95. I think I'll just, well, not too worried about this guy, to be honest. Well, I should be. Never mind. Nothing I can't do. Posing me Get was fucked. your biggest mistake. And then. Uh voice of command. I will put Suits that on Argento. Uh ally an extra turn with full AP and MP. There's no attack limit. So that's actually fantastic for My her. time is now. So let's go as far up as we can. And then let's see if we can shotgun these guys. E almost. So let's go here and do this then. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. Okay. Now I can do that again. Oh, fuck yes, dude. Argenta's so good. Okay, and I think that's it for Wilbur. I think she might take a hit here. Dodged. Let's go. I hope to meet the same end. Okay, you son of a bitch. I'll do it. It fucking wrecked. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Holy fucking shit we got out of that. What the hell was that? What the actual fuck was that big demon, dude? I am floored. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Okay, Avalar. Your Seneschal is always there for you. Please use this, this on Adira. A fine scar. I owe you one. That didn't work. Let me help. I'm grateful. That didn't work either. I don't know why those aren't going away. Oh, it's permanent. Okay. Can be fully healed on the void ship. Well, holy shit. Look at this baseball bats. Oh, it's a shock baton. Power swing. Holy shit. Shove. Okay, that's interesting. Tons of shotgun, tons of armor. Okay. They say a little bit of humility never hurts anyone. I so what exactly is hurting her here? Crippled arm. This creature's weapon skill and ballistic skill are reduced step. by 20. That's fine. She doesn't use those. Now you have broken ribs. This creature's strength and toughness are reduced by 20. Action points are reduced by one. That hurts. That actually fucking hurts. Did that actually get everything? No, there's goods up here. I see. Okay, but for now, can I? Okay, I cannot. I cannot go back to the ship. Holy shit. Okay. You're definitely staying in the back, Cassia. Let us level up. We must act. Uh, how do I fucking play the game? I tire of idleness. Jesus. Let's move. Uh, uh, how do I level up? <laughs> okay, there we go. Jesus. Okay. Uh, I can get a talent here. Let's look at the recommended ones. Blood of Martyrs. When an ally uses a heroic deck, that ally gains temporary wounds equal to 10% of their maximum wounds plus resolve that's pretty good you already have this feature okay the range of officers void abilities are okay good i already do have that focus when an officer uses an ability on an ally that ally gains bonus to their perception and ballistic skill equal to 
whatever bonus stacks these bonuses stack but half of the stacks rounded up are lost at the end of the target's turn when the officer targets an ally with an ability for the first time in a round that ally gains four wounds personal oversight when the officer takes an ally with an action targets an ally with an action an ability or an attack that allies resolve is increased by one until the end of the officer's next turn this affects stacks and is prolonged until the officer okay pretty good steel resolve officer's resolve is increased by three that just saved our ass pretty much i'm pretty sure that resolve system so maybe steel resolve is on the on the docket there what is all this base skill let me go down to the very bottom okay so i thought i had dual weapon combat take a second weapon at uh their current weapon an additional one back for around stack suffers penalty weapon skill ballistic skill but co and costs one more ap oh i thought it was free using the sweep attack on it okay dual weapon combat dueling mastery what is the one that gave me chain weapon expert Chain weapon attacks gain plus four maximum damage. That is not at all what I thought that did. I am kind of stupid. I am floored at my stupidity. Oh, look, they... They actually, like, redistributed them. Okay, cool. What are, what are these? Better to die for the Emperor. While under 40% wounds, Imperial World characters gain plus 10 bonus to all characteristics and plus two resolve. Doing my part, if no other character in the current party has the same archetype as this character, the first archetype ability used. Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, you do something. The noble uses an ability on their servant. The servant gains plus one AP next turn. Does not stack with itself. Cool. The noble servant gains plus two movement points every turn. If the servants killed the target that the noble dealt damage to last turn, the noble gains plus one AP this turn. That's cool. If the noble and the servant... Well, that makes me basically, like, want to do damage to everything. <laughs> if the noble and the servant are adjacent to each other at the start of the noble's turn... They both gain temporary wounds equal to the servant's tough bonus or the noble's fellowship bonus, depending on which is higher. These aren't that enticing, I'll be honest. Uh, these base skills aren't that enticing. Character training. Hmm. Flame weapon grenadier. Heavy weapon proficiency? No. Laz weapon expert, Melta weapon expert, Nimble. Nimble's just straight dodge. That could be good. Plasma weapon, para weapon, weapon specialist in general. Okay, well I am torn on what exactly to do. Ready to serve. Strong together. All allies excluding Xenos in the party. <laughs> Plus five of humanity's finest. Okay. I think for now. Be vigilant. Nah. I think we are going to take that resolve hit. Or that resolve boost, I should say. So that's really fucking good. Persuasion. Why can't I take persuasion? Oh, complete. There was no next. That's why. Damn. Okay. Level 36. I get the fucking. That's a long ways away. <laughs> I just hit level eight. Abelard. What you got, boy? 
Athletics cores. I wonder if this uses his stuff in dialogue. I don't know. Uh, let's go athletics. Or let's go Medicaid. Let's give him a little bonus to me Wait, what does this do again? It's effects by the character shrink the represents ability to traverse difficult terrain. For example, leap over collapsed sections of deck, climb over sharply rocks. I guess that could open up some more options. And then what is this? Whenever the warrior is attacked, they gain plus one stack to this until the end of combat. At the start of their turn, the warrior gains plus one temporary wound hit points for each stack. These wounds cannot exceed five. Why can they not exceed five? What is this? Oh, okay. That's my, my toughness bonus. Okay. Well... I think we want to go dual weapon combat. No, dual weapon specialist is what I wanted. No, that's not it either. I'm a combat master. Why is this locked? Features dual weapon combat. And dual. Oh, I have to have weapon specialists and dual weapon combat. So I have to have this. And I have to have weapon specialists. You know what? That's actually pretty good. Sweep ability on axes and. I don't want to get too specific on weaponry because I don't really know what I want yet. Chain weapon attacks gain or maximum damage. Mm. Oh, look at these. Do not falter. All allies affected by brace of impact do not suffer negative effects or melee superiority for the entire combat. Melee superiority, I know what that is. Get into cover. All allies affected by Brace for Impact gain an extra turn with zero AP and three movement points. Ooh, that's pretty good. Brace for Impact also allows the Navy officer to use any ranged weapon in threatened areas. Oh, knocks enemies prone and pushes them one cell away. Should I give him a shotgun? If I take that and give him a shotgun, that'd be pretty good. Uh, all allies affected by race or impact suffer only half damage from all attacks of opportunity. I think I'll take get off me. Uh, huh. What is this? The warrior's melee attack deals an additional three damage to enemies that have no allies within adjacent cells. That's pretty good. Not gonna lie. I think I'll take get off me and then we will, uh, give him a shotgun here. He has the las gun, but I will give him a shotgun wherever those shotguns may be right here. That way he can just blast a motherfucker. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good. Oh, okay. So having that equipped changes his parry. So I need to make sure that if I use the shotgun, I switch back to the, the swords before I end my turn. Okay, that's good to know, actually. Fresh target. When the operative attacks an enemy that is at full wounds, that attack deals more damage to that enemy. That's pretty good. Because I'm pretty much going to be using her to... on single targets. 
Or the the I can give her back her lightning bolt. Plus weakness also reduces the enemy toughness and willpower by that for one round. Uh, let's look down here a bit. Unnatural luck. The Psyker uses the divination psychic power on an ally without an unnatural luck effect. That ally gains unnatural luck. Unnatural luck when the ally suffers a critical hit, it becomes a normal hit. Instead, an unlucky hit. Unnatural luck is removed. That's not that good. Uh, yep. Yeah, so they really did change these right here. Psychic Barrage. Whenever a Psyker uses a damaging psychic power on the target that is within that are six cells or farther from the Psyker, target suffers an additional one damage. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's pretty good. Uh, what was the one I was trying to do? Oh, fresh target. Yeah. I think I'll do this then. Yeah. Oh, and I get two. Okay, sick. Then I will take the Psychic Barrage. I'll take the Psychic Barrage and I will give her back her... Because, yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm a fucking moron. She is never not going to have. What is that? Dodge reduction. Dodge reduction equals the attacker's perception. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Um, I'm actually fucking stupid because I can just give her both. <laughs> I uh, didn't realize I could just give her both. Yeah, that's uh, that's on me, dummy. Stupid head. Stupid dummy head. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Okay, back to leveling up. Soldier. Let's go. Let's take a look at her litany of purification. All enemies in the area of effect of war him or furious recital gain one step of disturbed effect. Do I even have those abilities? Firearm mastery, rebel and slaughter, concentrated fire, litany of hatred. Is what I took. What is War Him or Furious Recital? Do I have either of those? Okay, that's not what I want. Weird. Shield of Faith. The veto devotee gains plus. Four times willpower bonus to armor against attacks of demons and warp damage. The devotee resolve is also permanently increased by... Okay, that's cool. The emperor protects devotee. There's an ignore enemy attacks. That's all right. That's not something I would fucking, you know, dunk on. Well, I'm not too sure what that is specifically. Okay, well, anyway. Camaraderie. For each edition ally, the soldier deals more damage to enemies. That's pretty good. Cover efficiency is increased by 10% for full cover and 20% by half cover. Not really in cover with her, unfortunately. Reloading costs 2 AP less. 
and the first reload of combat costs no AP. I feel like that's going to save my ass at some point. For sure. And I will take it. And then I will do... I'll do awareness, because that's perception, right? Encompasses the subconscious ability to react to things that our conscious mind may not perceive. Awareness allows characters to notice traps. Clever. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take that. Yeah. All uh, right, well, Adira has a fucking ton of that, so maybe not. Maybe we'll go demolitions, because I don't think anybody else has that. Yeah, 65. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's our demolitions <sighs> expert, for sure. Cassia? What do you got, girl? Focus... A lot of martyrs. Okay, we should really... Holy shit. Holy shit, she has so much stuff. What the actual fuck? Okay, bloody argy. Evan flow. Second, fourth, etc. Navigator, just additional action point every odd turn. Gains 20 perception. That's just fucking buffed as hell. That's just awesome. I have Oblivion. Every enemy in the Navigator has a, their line of sight on has its dodge and hit chance reduced by Negator's perception. Her perception isn't that good. No, her awareness isn't that good. Her perception is fine. Yes. Perception and willpower are the two she has. Um, let's go mind over matter resistance test. That's cool. Uh, huh. Strange vitality. Of course, untraveled. Never did I get to use the navigator power. Not use this combat to perception to the end of combat. Unblinking stare. To the end of combat, enemies damaged by the navigator suffer an additional five points, uh, five damage for all attacks of opportunity and cannot dodge them. That's neat. But she's very much not that. Under my protection. Allies that are targeted by the navigator's ability gain plus five to resistance tests against the warp effects. Veil of protection. No, she doesn't really. She's more of a damage dealer, honestly, in my opinion. I don't know if that's correct, but uh, I guess I'll take ebb and flow because that's just cool. And in this, Wilbur has a hundred. Oh, persuasion. I thought it said perception. Commerce, Wil Wilbur's super good at. Guess I'll take more awareness. Maybe warp knowledge. Eh. I'll take more awareness. Fuck it. Okay, holy shit. These episodes are getting long, baby. <laughs> but we did the first fucking fight of the whole goddamn planet. And boy, did we get our shit pushed in. Holy crap, I'm so fucking proud of myself for getting out of that alive. But I'm going to call it there for today. Holy crap. I'll see you in the next one.